Well, the odds of a UFO passing over the Olympic Stadium during the opening ceremony was a thousand to one. How do we know that? Well, because someone placed a bet predicting that this will happen. And those are the odds that he was given. UK bettors are placing some pretty bizarre bets these days. Joining me now is Dipti Kapadia, who has been speaking to some of the betting agencies. Hi, Dipti. Hello. What are the British people betting on? Well, besides your normal Olympic sports, they have these Olympic novelty bets, which are pretty bizarre and out there. One being the UFO flying over the stadium during the closing ceremony. Some other examples are of which athlete will you catch eating Mc a McDonald's Big Mac? <laughs> Another one is when Boris Johnson, the mayor of London, when he was lighting the torch, is his hair going to catch on fire? And you name it, things have been popping up with news developing as well. They had um, put a bet on, will the Olympics mess up by flashing the wrong flag like the South Korea, North Korea incident? So there's loads of examples that people are putting money on. Okay, but I mean, the well. UFO bet is pretty crazy. I mean, how would that actually be determined? How would the betting agency decide to determine this? It's actually pretty strict. The only way they would say, okay, a UFO has flown over the stadium is if the U.S. President or the UK Prime Minister declare there was an unknown object flying over the stadium. So it's pretty, it's pretty out there. And I spoke to someone um, at William Hill, Rupert Adams, and he kind of explains it even further. The favourite amusement value is definitely being the UFO, purely based on the fact that we've had a few people b place money on it and they're now trying to claim a winner because there's been a internet video going around suggesting that this very weird little red light was a UFO above the stadium. Uh, I think it's very unlikely myself, but uh, it's cra created quite a talking point. Um, some of these bets are pretty way out there. I mean, how do they come to life? It's actually the betters themselves that come to the agencies and say, hey, we want these bets around. Um, one agency, they'll take customer inquiries when people call in, and other agencies are starting to use things like Twitter and Facebook for people to kind of put their bizarre bets in. And some are quite out there. And Rupert Adams also explains some of the bizarre bets people are placing that probably have no chance of ever <laughs> showing up again. <laughs> About 60, 65% of our so-called special bets come from customer inquiries. So people coming into us and saying like, will you give me a price for my daughter to play football for England? Will you give me a price for my son to win an Olympic gold medal? And the son being currently two, you know, I mean, they tend to be people coming to us rather than us making them up specifically. And uh, it is, it's a, it's a growth area in our business, but it's never going to be a major part. Well, is there anything they wouldn't place bets on? I mean, I should imagine that they wouldn't want to take bets on people, you know, dying by a particular age or something. No, different agencies have different rules. Um, one bet that kind of sprang up at one of the agencies was when um, Bradley Wiggins finished his bike ride and someone stole his sweaty shorts. <laughs> and basically, they were just saying, oh, okay, well, if someone returns these shorts, here are the odds. And if someone puts this on eBay, here are the odds. So they have bizarre bets like this, but some agencies say, okay, well, we'll put this on as a bet. Other agencies don't condone stealing, so they won't do that. So there is different criteria for each agency. Okay, well, Dipti, the game's yeah. nearly over now, and I believe there's one really big novelty bet that everybody's looking at. Everyone is looking to see what color hat the Queen will wear at the closing <laughs> ceremony. And it's not just an Olympic novelty bet. Everyone is always watching out for what she has to wear. So it will be interesting to see whether she'll be wearing blue, gold, yellow, purple, pink, whatever you name it. There's odds for every color, even things with Olympic designs. And I actually spoke I to- I can't some quite see her yeah. with five rings <laughs> up there somehow. <laughs> I spoke to Alex Donahue at Ladbrokes who explains it even further. But the biggest novelty bet in, in British sort of betting history has to be the color of the Queen's hat. Where, wherever the Queen goes, whether she's at Ascot, whether she's at the Olympics, whether she's out walking the corgis, people love to have a bet on what color her hat's gonna be. So what is the big bet that everyone's betting on of the hat, what color at the moment? Everyone is going for blue at the moment. The odds are three to one on that, so. Be interesting to see if she might surprise us and come up with red, white, and blue. Exactly. <laughs> Thank you very much. Thanks, Nick.